really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard, which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Yes, welcome. This is Seriously Speaking, and my name is Adesuwa Onyenukwe. Those who know me know that I don't take wellness for granted. I have become what you call a wellness expert of sorts because I absorb all kinds of information I can about what it takes to remain healthy. Some think it's all about what you look like, but it's much more than that. The approach to wellness is about a holistic one. That's why on the show today, we shall be talking about three different aspects of wellness that you must take seriously what you put in your system, what the environment is like, that, what the environment is like, and what you do to your body. And I have three people, some experts by virtue of their training, another, and another one expert by virtue of the fact that she adopted a better lifestyle that has shown results in her body. So I shall engage three of them first before we begin the conversation that just may change your life to begin to live a lifestyle that we assure you of a good life at the 70 that the Bible promises you, or more, if you are healthy enough. We'll take a break, and I'll be back with Seriously Speaking today. Yes, welcome back. My first guest on the show, I met first in the newspapers by virtue of the work that she does, because she's a columnist and she's written about health. But I always thought, this girl can't be Nigerian, until she began to show recipes out of Nigerian meals that can still be healthy. And then she's not even a dietitian. She's a lawyer by training, and she is, well, her name is Tenny Majakodumi. It's nice to have you here. Very nice to meet you. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I more or less bullied you to come here, didn't I? In a way, she's very, very good at that. <laughs> I, I, had, I had to convince you that yes. it was time for you to share your experience with Nigerians. I love eating healthy. But you just I, love to eat anyway. So I you like eat. eating a lot. <laughs> like I do. So what I do is I try to reduce the portions and spread it out over the whole day. Mm -hmm. And that way, I still get to eat what I like, but it's in a smaller portion. So I told you how about how, I mean, I loved drinking Coke. It was <laughs> my biggest challenge to actually just stop drinking it. So I would just have half a bottle every day. And then I easily just taped it off that way. Mm -hmm. And when I'm drinking it, I would put lots of ice and sip it. I have maybe like four sips in every minute. I pace myself so I don't want it to finish and I don't want to go and get the remaining half. Mm -hmm. So that way I eased myself out of it and then I started doing out other of things. Sodas. Drinking, yes, out what of taking sodas. sodas or carbonated sodas. Carbonated something. sodas, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I would drink uh, a lot more water so that I'm so full that I wouldn't have time to now any more space for the Coke. How did the sharing happen? Because, I mean, basically, what's your basic lifestyle today that you've maintained? Because you're not skinny. You're nicely, you know, <laughs> well, but your skin is baby, great. So that's yeah. why I'm a bit puffy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I drink a lot of water. Your baby is only about six months old. Yes, he's okay. almost six. He's not even six months yet. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, for somebody who's had so a baby six I've months ago, you another one, yeah, so two now, and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's tough. But um, I have always drank water. That's one thing. So I have... You, you discovered have water a long time ago. Two to, at least two to three liters of water every single day. And that is about those 50 cl bottles. You probably have Minimum about four. seven, no, about six. Okay. Oh, well, five times six, three, three liters. Yeah. So you have six of the 50 liters every day. So since you're having three meals a day, you should have one with every meal, and then the other three spread across. Now, the with other... every meal, do you take it before the meal or after? No, I, I'd like to take it after the meal because I don't really like drinking whilst eating. So I'd rather finish the whole food, and then drink all the water, and then I'm done. So what's your basic regimen? Water. Small I eat a lot of yogurt. Of I eat a lot of yogurt in the morning, and I eat chia seeds as well. So What's chia, that? chia seeds are it's it's like a really tiny seed. They sell them everywhere. It's a kind of a lentil, but it helps to keep you full. So you I put it in you put it in your yogurt or in your water, but I always put it in my yogurt, and it swells up, and um, it's nutritious. It's an antioxidant. It helps you you know keep your digestive system going. And it also just makes you, um, 
Basically, you're you you fool. Able to go, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I want a better word. It's a clear, you're able to go. It clears out your system. And together with the yogurt, mm -hmm. so it's a perfect combination. I will engage you in the conversation with my other guests, like I always sure. say. As I must say, thank you for joining us on oh, this segment. Thank you. It's been and really nice having here. I've enjoyed it. I appreciate it. it. <laughs> but you're not going yet, you know. Okay. <laughs> so stay right there. I will be back on the show with my other guests today. My next guest, her company, Carib Health and TW Magazine, right, today's my magazine I publish, and Wow Connect, came together last year to begin what we call a health and wellness fair. One is coming up very shortly, and we're going to scroll the details for you on screen as, a, as the program goes by. But when I met her, herself and her husband, the first thing that, I mean, I learned that I never took away was the fact that um, the cancers that we have around in Nigeria today, here, one person has died from one cancer or the other, or stress that's killing Nigerians, it's all got to do with the foundation of the kind of life that we live and our environment. Now, Sharice Ijewere is my next guest. She moved back home six years ago with her husband, Dr. Patrick, both of you are doctors, by the way. Well, what kind of doctor are you? No, welcome I, first. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nutrition consultant. Okay. Uh, and my husband is internal is medicine. Medical, yeah. Yes. Okay. So tell me about your growth towards living the life, because I mean, would I call you guys vegans or what? Well, he's a complete vegan. I am a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So that means I eat fish, I eat, eat eggs. But he doesn't eat, I don't eat too much, mm -hmm. no. And he doesn't eat eggs. He doesn't eat anything from an animal at all. And he hasn't done this for how long? He hasn't done this for eight years. For eight years? Yes. No, tell me, these decisions were taken because of the knowledge that you seem to have acquired. Share yes. that with my viewers right now. Yes, me. well, as we were seeing patients, we noticed that really these diseases that w they came down with were linked to the foods that they were eating. So when we talk about holistic wellness, what comes to your mind? Living clean, that living close to nature. Of course, you know when God put us in the, on earth, where did he put us? In the Garden of Eden with vegetable, with fruits, with the things that are around us. He didn't put us in the supermarket with the packages. <laughs> yes. And thank you very much, Cherise, for being with us. Thanks. I'll take a break now. Return with Ariola Deni of Venevici Spa right here in Lagos. Yes, my guest, I met maybe about 10 or so years ago when she started a spa called Venevici right here in Lagos. But of course, she's trained as a banker and she spent several years in the banking world before she opened what she calls a corporate a place to get sanity for all the corporates in Nigeria. But 10 years down the line, Ariola Adini is still talking wellness, total wellness or holistic wellness. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Seriously Speaking. Thank you. What do you speak? Are you, there's your payoff. What's your payoff for Venevici? The sanctuary of wellness. The sanctuary of wellness. It, yes. it, didn't, it indeed looks like a sanctuary because there's no TV. There's just some kind of water drop music that plays in your ear. All mm -hmm. of this is on purpose. Yes, those are deliberate. There's too much noise outside. Mm. So when you come to the spa, it's a place to relax, renew, refresh, rejuvenate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and regenerate. The spa life is seen as elitist, that it's only people that have money that can afford. I mean, I'm seeing pictures of the spa right now, but mm. it looks good. It certainly looks like it's somewhere that you can't afford. No, it is not. It's about your well-being. Even the World Health Organization has defined wellness as more than, being the, uh, more than the absence of um, illness. It's a state of your physical, spiritual, emotional, financial well-being. Mm -hmm. So at the spa, we're taking care of, it's holistic. Now you would say there are a lot of spas all across Nigeria today. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel like some kind of, you know, it doesn't make you happy to see that? Yes, it's a growth industry. I was able to, to uh, blaze a trail that everybody thought, oh, we in business in Nigeria, it won't work. <laughs> White man's business. Mm -hmm. And nobody gave it a chance to survive, mm -hmm. but, 15 years down the line, we're still there and we're, it's even gotten better because we've been able to incorporate what it takes to ensure that we're able to prolong life what expectancy I, in Nigeria. Uh -huh, that's another thing, it's beyond There's beauty. There's too much stress, no, yes. That is why we say we're a sanctuary of wellness. Mm -hmm. It's not just about, but beauty is good. Beauty can be skin The Beauty involves when you begin to age gracefully and I like that, take, age gracefully. Yes. <laughs> Aging is a natural process of life, but you can live longer, better.